So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kinda sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat-down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd. Turn it off, please. <laughs> it is time! For some WWE 2K22 My Rise gameplay. Now I'm picking... Picking in my background here, as you see, you look at actor, you see MMA, you see the indie, you see like the powerhouse, like guys like Bobby Lashley, Riddle, and Brock Lesnar. But I'm gonna go with indie, okay? Or I, I was I was an indie wrestler, I'm an indie fan, okay? So I figured why not just play with play with the guys like like Kevin Owens, okay? So you see right here, I'm gonna be the technician build. Um cruiserweight, meant to be a, a, a heavyweight, but at this point it really doesn't matter. Um, it's a storyline. So we're we're Five foot nothing, piece of you know weight of a uh, wet piece of paper. So that's fine. It's okay. I want you to be like, hey, wait, just to be a little bit taller and a little bit uh, you know meat on the bones. But right now, looks I look I look good. Okay, this is what I really want to be in reality. But ladies and gentlemen, this is ruckus. Okay, you're gonna find out what BTR stands for later on down the road. But for right now, we ain't wasting no time. We're gonna prove why I'm in the WWE. You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Eh, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Alright, so... Who are these guys? Are these, these are the trainees with me? Okay, Paragon J. J. Pierce. It's a fire name. Hector Flores. Talk to Jay. Hey, who are you? Well, damn. Uh, <laughs> who are you? What are you about? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. Uh, uh, bigger, actually. I actually know who you are, but no, I don't watch your matches. I don't want your boring, crappy style rubbing off on me in any way. Look me up online. Just search for best indie wrestler in the world. So you're an indie wrestler, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come into a major promotion thinking it's going to be easy. But you're for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm going to take this opportunity to send you running back to whatever backyard county fair parking lot indie league you came from. Well, well, damn. Um, 
You all talk. You remind me of a lot of the guys I faced on the indie circuit. All talk. Luckily for them, they don't have to face me anymore. Unfortunately, you do. Yeah, on a big stage, packed with pressure, like you've never experienced before. You're in my arena now, rookie. And when I'm done with you, you're gonna wish you stayed in your lane. We'll see. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Yeah, I like this guy already. Thanks, man. Thanks. And I'm well aware of who you are. I've watched a lot of your matches online. I'm excited to get going, especially since I heard you started last week. It started here, at least. I've been training and wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Wait, you didn't have family in the business, did you? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I choose soccer. I played soccer when I was a kid, but there weren't enough moonsaults or super kicks. So as soon as I was old enough, I started wrestling. I'm jealous you were able to get going so early. It's a blessing and a curse. You trained at Booker T School? What was that like? It was cool. He just called me sucker a lot, you know. Booker's great. He gave me the foundation I needed to make it on the indies, but it was time to take the next step, and that meant coming here. He put in a word for me, and luckily WWE liked what they saw. It must be nice to have that kind of support. It is, but I don't want anyone to think I only got here because of him. I'm going to prove that I earned this. All right, man. Good luck. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Bro, who, who in the blue hell is you? Thanks. I'm a big fan of yours too. How? I've never even had a televised match before. Oh, sorry. I was just trying to be polite. Ah, <laughs> it's okay. I'm relatively new to all this, but you and I have actually appeared on the same indie show in Memphis before. Really? I'm pretty good with faces, and I don't remember yours. Well, that's because you couldn't see my face. I was a mascot named Ribby. Oh yeah, ah! the Memphis minor league baseball shows. I think I saw you win a dance-off. That was me! The best part of the job was getting to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. Mm. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. What do you mean by that, man? You know what? It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. Look, I had some help from Booker T getting my foot in the door. But just remember, neither one of us would be here if we weren't talented. True. Oh, before I forget, can you sign something for me today before you leave? Yeah, sign the paper for me to whip your ass! <laughs> just kidding. Sure. Sure. <laughs> just as long as you don't sell it online. Ah, well, then you know what? I can get it some other time. I'm just messing with you. If you can make a few bucks, then good for you. And literally, it might only be a few bucks. See you out there, Chase. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're going to start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. All right. Can I pick? Ooh, I can pick. 
Uh, let's get that Paragon J Pierce in the ring now. Okay, let's get started. All right, here we go. One on one. No, we ain't going nowhere. Combos right here. Take this. European uppercut. Bang! That's what I'm talking about. Whip him into the corner here. Another European uppercut. Get out of the corner. I'm going to take your ass to Suplex City. See ya. God damn. <laughs> we might be saying J home early. DDT. That's, some, that's a phenomenal DDT. Some Jake the Snake's robber DDT out here. Get the signature. Okay, missed that up. Let me get the signature one more time here. Did I get it? Oh, yeah. Oh, he reversed it. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This ain't good. Oh, right in the back of the... Right in the back. I'm working on the arm. Get off me, man. No reversal. Help me. Sean, get in the ring, Sean. Oh, my God. Kicking the shit out of me. Uh-oh. Jay gonna go up top. Jay Pierce up top. Look out below. God, his ass. Come here. Back. Oh! oh. Ah, come on. Uh-oh. Okay, wrestling takedown. Okay. That was weak. That was weak, Jay. Come on. All right, let's go boost the corner. Reverse. Yeah, give me that. Bang! Wicked forearm. Okay, okay. We'll say keep fighting. Oh, another reversal. Another reversal. Golly, help me with all these reversals. Ah! Oh, my God. That was a fire Death Valley driver. I got right back up. Man, got out. I no sold that thing. Give your shout out, Corbin. End of days. Here's the cover here. One, two, three. Nothing. He is nothing. Okay, so. Oh, alignment change. The decision made through a storyline has changed the alignment. Okay, so I'm good. Okay, green mask, good guy, red, bad. I get it here. So right now we're green. Okay, so we got attributes here. Okay. So I'm a 75 overall. Yada, yada, yada. The basic stuff, you know, pretty much up to level 10. Okay, so striking. Boost that up. Give that maybe a eight. Okay, grappling. Eight. I'm already feeling like I'm gonna waste a lot of a lot of points here. So definitely aerial, not a really a big thing. Resilience could be one we could probably use. Defense most likely just for the reversals and you know pretty much no so a lot. Resilience is very gonna be. I'm assuming gonna be very overpowered. Um, grappling already at an 89. We have an 82 overall already. Okay. Um. I feel like we can work on this a little bit. Let's let's just start balancing stuff out here. Uh, resilience four. Really don't want to put aerial at three though. Two submission. I would definitely probably boost up submission. Um, let's see. Do five. We'll do five. Up. There we go. 85 overall. That's out. That's a little bit balanced. Get a little myself a little bit of uh, aerial. In case I want to do a flying elbow, or maybe a swan tom bomb like Jeff Hardy. <laughs> Some stuff like that. But I like this. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay. I'm hitting a lot of buttons here. Let's talk to Jay. He seems really upset after I whipped his ass. Ha <laughs> ha! Before you say anything. Do you really think you just got everything I had? It's obvious I shouldn't be here. So I'm not gonna give 100% in a training match against a nobody. This guy sounds familiar. He obviously is a dummy. Yeah! Okay, sounds like a classic excuse to be honest with me. <laughs> mm, the old, I wasn't trying excuse. Classic. Haven't heard that one since fourth grade when I beat JB Fultz in a push-up contest. You know what? It's not a great look on a grown man. Face me when it really counts, and we'll see what happens. Funny. That's the same thing JB said back in the day, and guess what? I beat him again. So let me know when you're done with the excuses and you're ready to start trying, JB. All right, so that's going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a fun one. Great introduction of Ruckus already dominating Jay Pierce. That dude's a bozo. Get out of the PC. Looks like you need to go back to Japan, big dog. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Potsy, and I'm out. Peace.